Jamal Bowman, who represents much of the Bronx in Westchester County, is under investigation for pulling a fire alarm before the House voted on the funding bill earlier this evening. A camera captured Bowman pulling the alarm. He says it was an accident and told reporters he was trying to get through a door thinking the alarm would open it. This Democrat politician admits he's utterly stupid for pulling a fire alarm, then claims ignorance about what it looks like. A Democrat politician is now under investigation and facing allegations of ignorance and recklessness after he pulled a fire alarm in a Capitol office building, a felony under U.S. laws. Representative Jamal Bowman, Democrat New York, Bowman, known for his calls to prosecute and jail political opponents, activated the fire alarm on Saturday in a move that has drawn criticism from top Republican lawmakers who accuse him of violating the same law for which many January 6 defendants were convicted. In a statement posted on social media, Bowman expressed embarrassment over the incident, stating, I am embarrassed to admit that I activated the fire alarm, mistakenly thinking it would open the door. I regret this and sincerely apologize for any confusion this caused. But I want to be very clear, this was not me, in any way, trying to delay any vote, he added. The fire alarm incident occurred as House Democrats were attempting to delay a vote on a GOP stopgap spending bill, resulting in the evacuation of the building. American netizens have been quick to question Bowman's explanation. Verified social media user Dom Luker, known for exposing political hypocrisy, has been actively posting to challenge Bowman's claims. Luker pointed out that as a former school principal, Bowman should have been familiar with safety codes and fire alarms. Democrat Congressman Jamal Bowman expect us to believe he didn't know how to pull a fire alarm but I found these photos of him having class with the NYC Fire Department two years ago. I'm not letting them let this go, Luker posted on X. Another verified ex-user, Coach Russo, posted, Jamal Bowman was the founder and former principal of a school in the Bronx. He should be familiar with safety codes and know what a fire alarm looks like. If one of his students accidentally pulled the alarm they could have potentially faced a year in jail and or $10,000 in fines. A popular ex-user, ALX, agreed, posting, so as a middle school principal, did Jamal Bowman advise students to pull the fire alarm to open doors? Bowman's actions have ignited a fierce backlash from prominent Republicans who demand that he face criminal charges for his actions. Some have drawn parallels between his actions and those of individuals arrested in connection with the January 6 riot. The Committee on House Administration and the Capitol Police have both initiated separate investigations into the incident. Republican Rep. Lisa McLean, Republican Michigan, underscored the seriousness of the matter, asserting, this is a felony, plain and simple. She argued that the incident diverted resources from Capitol security, and she called for Bowman to be held accountable. Donald Trump Jr. shared the Capitol Police released photo and commented, if they don't charge Rep. Bowman, with a crime for endangering the lives of those in the Capitol and obstructing congressional proceedings then they better let every single J6er that's rotting in prison for non-violent offenses out with an apology and compensation right effin' now. No, I want to talk about Jamal Bowman pulling the, the fire alarm. Uh, Capitol Police are questioning him right now because it's on video. That he, this is the exact, he violated the exact same law that January 6th defendants are being prosecuted for every single day. He violated the exact same law, uh, interrupting an official proceeding, and it, by pulling a fire alarm, it's on video, and the Capitol Police have, have the information. Did, did you see This is outrageous. They, they have it on video. Have you seen the video? I haven't seen the video yet, but I'm going to be demanding it. I'm demanding that the Department of Justice prosecute him the same way they prosecuted January 6th defendants. It's the exact same law. Exact same law. This is outrageous. He's a Democrat representative. Here's what happened. Catherine Clark, the whip, called the motion to adjourn. And then within, I don't know, a few minutes, it was literally right after that, Jamal Bowman pulls a fire alarm while the vote was happening. You, you guys, this is, this is unprecedented. The Democrats will do anything to make sure it's shut down because billions of dollars are not going to their favorite country, Ukraine. I mean, you guys really, so, so Olivia Beavers law? has tweeted it. This is the law. This is the law. Otherwise obstructs influences or impedes any official proceeding or attempts to do so. She'll be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 20 years or both. This is the law that January 6th defendants are being 
locked up, they're rotting in jail, and they're being prosecuted every single day. Nonviolent offenders are being put in jail for this. You took a video over there. Did you happen to catch like a part of it? Or you, I saw you posted a video on Twitter. Did yeah. you catch a part of it? Or see... Look, it's being reported everywhere. You can ask the cap, go ask the Capitol Police about it. I'm demanding the video. House admin has already reported it. They have seen the video. This is, it's just unbelievable. He's a representative breaking the law.